Yeah, Chingle Hall. I was watching a thing on television. It's uh, an old house from the 1600s, I think, being built on the site of a monastery. And it's, you know, they keep seeing these ghostly apparitions of monks. Well, I must admit, I don't believe in anything spiritual. I've never seen anything spooky. But when I looked on a map, it looks like it's just uh, north of Longridge. I thought I'll go and see if it's open to the public, or is it private, or what? And as it's a pleasant little run to Longridge, I thought, why not? Just before Broughton, I'm saying. I've seen something on a corner but never paid much attention to what it said so I presume it's a fence and a sort of sharp turn right so I presume that's it, we'll see and see if it says open you never know, I might see a monk even in daylight I mean why is it always night time and why is it always medieval figures why not modern day ghosties? I mean, Suffer Candy, as you say, he's a medium or a spiritualist or something. I think the two go together. I don't know. I'm an agnostic. I believe it when I see it. I was just telling Paul about Ralph and uh, the written stone. The curse of the written stone, I said, yeah, I went to have a look. And when I got home, I fell off my bike. I, I stalled it because I was in third gear. That silly habit I have of not knocking it down to first or neutral. After you've finished a ride, always uh, knock your gears down to first. Well, I didn't tell him, it was, I was at Rivington and one of my viewers said he went to a look at the written stone after seeing my video, he knew nothing about it and he spotted something in one of the cracks and it was a 1562 sixpence Elizabethan worth four to five hundred quid and it was nearly mint, just a little ding in it Oh Lord I went back and had a poke around with a stick to see if I could find any treasures but I couldn't find a thing, not a sausage and someone said no, you're making it up anything uh, buried in the stonework would be all weathered and rusty, not mint well not rusty you know, if it's uh, silver when it would have been a lot more grotty than it was. So like yesterday when I uploaded the full route to Caton through the Truffle Ball and I thought I'd do the full route. Look at this patch of the gravel. Maintain speed round bends my ass. Not with patches of gravel like that. Yeah, I thought I'd do the full route to Jingle Hall, why not? I mean, a similar story is uh, to do with Salisbury Hall, which dates from 1320. And even Horton Tower, although that's only 1565. Like I said, how come all these apparitions are always medieval? They were going on that film on telly, on that talking pictures, where that 
that motorbike thing was on last week and that film The Black Knight someone said about The Black Knight a, a film that featured motorbikes in, in 1954 a British thriller about espionage I didn't watch it but I watched the bike bits yeah, Talking Pictures had an interesting film on about uh, I forgot who was in it now <laughs> It was an American film that they were filming over here in a stately home and it was on about these ghosts that uh, appeared in paintings and then came to life to find missing artefacts you know, If you're into ghosts, these are treble six <laughs> I'd like to know what your views are. Do you believe in all this stuff? Have you ever seen anything? I mentioned it to Hepcat Hoyle and he said he's seen a ghost dressed in medieval clothes. I thought, hmm, medieval again. Not 60s clothes. Not John Lennon's ghost. But medieval apparitions. And someone else was rubbishing it all, saying, how come you don't see dinosaur ghosts? Why is it just humans? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have a lazy day today, go down to Aldi. Have a pint in that real ale pub. My guts have been gurgling all night in bed, bloody hell, it sounded like. I thought it was a plumbing from the bathroom making funny noises with my guts. I was just telling Paul it was six pounds for that uh, hog roast muffin at Ray and three pounds for a hot chocolate, two pounds for a little plastic bottle of coke. And maybe it's a good thing it's only once a month. That's a bloody fortune. There's a lot of people hanging over this bridge a while back. I wondered why. It's a railway bridge, and then I realised the Flying Scotsman was coming through. Although, is it such a big deal? I've uh, seen the Flying Scotsman three times a couple of years ago on my videos. Oh, and that settled to Carlisle Line I wanted to go on. It was hit by a landslide, it's shown that on the uh, North Yorkshire Weather Reports channel on Facebook. Well, they did a very good job of clearing it away. 150 tonnes of earth, it said, tumbled down onto the line. And it said any runs on the line are cancelled and you have to get a bus between two of the stations. Because, you know, the line in between had all this crap on. But they cleared it in a day with some big diggers diggers. Mechanical diggers I mean, not men. Well maybe blokes would have helped as well. Any landslides on a railway line? What if it happened when a railway, when a train was coming? Here we are in the lovely Yorkshire Dales enjoying the scenery. Oh, what's that rumbling noise? Hills. Yeah. <coughs> so this is Wilkshire, nice Jaguar that way isn't it? Wilkshire, a little village on the outskirts of Blackburn. There's a more scenic lane behind, well, where that church is called Lovely Lane. <laughs> Alright, so we're going straight on for Ribchester, a Roman village. I forgot, I forgot the Roman name, very long winded. Not Herculean, Herculean or something, it's just. Uh, 
similar to a rib texture but all in Latin. <laughs> See a lot of history around here. straight on don't turn. Thank you. down to Ribchester. There's an old historical house on the left but it's so overgrown outside with trees you probably grown them on purpose to obscure the view. Seeing as our soul thieves tend to travel around these days for pickings. I want to stop by to see if I could see a date storm but I couldn't. How's the microphone sounding now then? seeing if people are going to be obsessed by it. Never mind what I'm saying, just enjoy the lovely views. Maybe we should play some music like all these do. Who put the ram in the ram in the ding dong? Who put the, who put the bop in the bop? Who up, who up, who's that man? I'd like to shake his hand, he made my baby fall in love with me. No. No, 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 Roman Museum here, look at that sign, that needs redoing, doesn't it? I filmed here last year when there were some students, foreign students, Canadians and Australians doing a dig and they found a leather sandal still preserved in the mud. And I came just to have a look and I got a full, uh, a full SP from this girl. And someone warned about that. I suggest you get an interviewing microphone set up with twin mics if you're going to speak to people. I couldn't hear a thing. They weren't meant to hear a thing, so belt up. All I said was, I believe you found this sandal, and 15 minutes later, <laughs> she was still talking. I wanted to see if they found any gold coin hoards. There we are, historic old Ribchester.
uh, leaving Ribchester. That was a bit of a rock spot, wasn't it, where that garage is? Next stop, Longbridge, and then it's the road to Broughton. And that's where Chingle Hall is. Have a look online, Chingle Hall. C H I N G L E, Chingle. Although that you were pronouncing it Shingle on television. Here we are at Shingle Hall. It's an old house built on the foundations of a monastery. And it's the most haunted house in Great Britain. Hmm. Paul Crom was on from Granada TV saying he came with some women from Granada. And he said he felt such negative vibes he couldn't even enter the house. But what? It's the other way. We're all going to pop a clogs, aren't we? No one survives this, uh, this existence. Houses with flag roofs. Another one with your bright lights out. People check the cars. Is there a way of checking your brake light? I presume it's activated by the handbrake, or is it? Pull your handbrake on, look around the back of your car and see if you have a light out. I told the lad the other day, and he thanks very much, mate. Oh, so you are right. Coppers all whinge about that, won't they? Defective light, £60 fine. I'll have to go in back and have a look at the written stone again and see if I can find any old sixpences again. And I was poking every nook and cranny with a stick. No wonder I got cursed. <laughs> I didn't find a sausage. Like I said. Right, for watching Long Ridge. That's a road to Ralph Stone. I forgot his last name, Ralph something, 1665. My mum and my auntie came for a shuffle around Longridge. I said, What is there an actual town? I thought you were just that one street. And when I looked last time I was passing through, I think I'll go down that street to see what's, uh, what's on it. Since I've never been down it before. Ye old Crunchy's Chicken Shop. Mm. 
Mercedes taxi. Opticians, cannon go. <laughs> the Durham Oxford are letter missing. Nice Victorian raw tie canopy there. That'd be nice in my backyard. See these people waiting to cross. Oh, it's a little lad. So I might as well let that car go. It's a nice old pub. Well, hmm. Yeah, my mum said there wasn't really much here to look at. So just a few shops of interest to women. Oh, another petrol station. Our ambulance charity shop. I like looking in charity shops to see if there's anything uh, worth buying, you know, another one, RSPCA. Like I said, lots of my ornaments in my house are charity shop stuff. Them tankards I got, £2 each, I couldn't believe it. Heavy pewter tankards, I thought they were plastic, we having a £2 price tag on, but they weren't, they were heavy pewter. Little old ladies run the shop and they haven't got an idea of how to price things up. So I bought both and let them keep the pound change, I give her a fiver. Yeah, hey, you sure will love? I said, oh yes. On eBay, similar ones, but not as good, were 25, 30 pound. So, always have a shifty around charity shops. I told that mate of mine, Kevin, who has that second hand record shop, you know, vinyl and stuff. A story about uh, a charity shop in London had some LPs and a chap was looking through found a 60s LP and thought, oh, I'll get it out of the sleeve and see what condition it's in and it had some uh, drawings signed by, who do you think? Jimi Hendrix, he was a very good artist and it turns out it was Jimmy's LP being given to some bird She'd become an old lady, of course, and she'd give it to the charity shop, not knowing there was a drawing in, and a Jimi Hendrix drawing sketch. We're talking about ten grand. Another one, bright light out. Right, well, this is a road to Broughton, so a few miles outside Longreach. This is Whittingham. So we're going to pull out then. Mm, behind a bloody skip lorry. And a tingle hall is on the left. And like I said, I've been past a fence before and I think that's it. So we'll see. Another nice leafy area. Oh, there Huge lorries doing on a bloody road like this. Is it an alternative to the A59 or something or what? Ah, let's cut through Longridge. Ah, save a couple of miles but uh, destroy the roads, create more potholes. 
dangerous to uh, small traffic. <laughs> yeah, that's that bump. Be aware of that bump before this bend. It's just like I said, where they don't level the bloody road up after resurfacing, they seem to leave manhole coverage six inches down. And I went down it before, but now I know where it is. You have to stay alert, don't you? Alert. Be alert. What's alert? Be alert. Yep, Gooznor. So it's just after Gooznor on a map. I'll take a picture of a map. Ah, I just thought that's what I forgot last night when I was doing my ray map. I was going to upload a map, but uh, everyone knows where that area is near Lancaster. Everyone knows where Lancaster is. So I don't need a map. If it's not uploading properly when I get home, I'm going to re edit it and maybe chop a big chunk out. And I can't be too far off now. A left turn, it actually looks like some kind of stately home type of place. Is this it? No entry. So I bet this construction. No, it's an NHS place. Or is it up there? I think that might have been it, some kind of NHS place, don't you see? So you don't see it's closed down, been bought by NHS and now it's now it's a nursing home for dementia patients. Or is there another one on this bend? On the map it looked like it was about two miles outside Gooznor.
1782. Yee, horns in. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure.